Okay guys, so here we have the Dreo heater, little heater for your room. And now we're gonna talk about some of the features and we're gonna plug it in. But something I wanna show you real quickly, it does have this safety plug, which is very nice. So that means if there's a short or anything like that, it's gonna, I'll show you the cord. The cord is a safety so that if it gets damped or anything wet or it gets heated, it's gonna automatically shut off. See that this is uh, lit up. That means that it's plugged in. Okay, so that's nothing to worry about. That just means that you're plugged into the wall. That's what that stands for. Um, the power button is right in the middle. So if we turn it on, it automatically starts to oscillate as you can see, okay? And you can see this on high. Now, if you don't want it to oscillate, you're just gonna hit this button here and then it stops oscillating. It also has a timer and you have a negative sign so you can lower the heat and you have a positive sign so you can also raise the heat. Now it does go different modes as you can see. That's the highest mode, 1500 watts, okay. That's 700 watts I believe and then you go to I believe 500 watts. Um, we also have an eco mode. So, all right, so here is eco mode. So if you set it on 71, it will make an adjustment for you. So it'll stay at 71. Now that's the eco mode. We also have fan mode. So fan mode is just exactly what that says. It's just the fan. That's all it's, it's doing. Okay. Now we also have H2 mode, which is like I said, 700. And here, it's also a timer. So if you hit the timer, you can set a timer to how long you want it to stay on and when it's gonna shut off. Let's get out of the mode. So now we're at 71. And if you wanted to go back to oscillating, we're gonna go back and forth. That's a nice little feature. And I also wanna show you the control. The control lets you do all the same things you can do on the top. All right, so if you wanted to stop oscillating, you wanna hit that, it'll stop oscillating, okay? Um, you can also shut off the sound. You can also do the modes here. You can set it on fan right there. You can set it on H2. You need to be pointing at it in order for it to work. All right, back to fan. Uh, you can also do the up and down, the temperature. Okay, and you can also do the timer here. You can set the timer to keep it on as long as you need to. If it's 10 minutes, so stay on, it'll shut off after 10 minutes. Um, so there it is. Check out the other video where I show you how to change the battery on this controller. And then if you just want to shut it off, you're just going to hit that. It's going to start counting down and then it'll shut off on its own. So that's exactly how it works. Oh, uh, one more thing before we go. I just want to show you that you can change the filter on this. It does have a filter. So uh, you might want to unplug it. I didn't unplug it, but there is a filter. You will remove the screw from down here. And then you pull down on this and the filter comes out and then you can wash it. And then you can, once it's dry, you can put it back in and you just put the screw back in. And that's how you change the field. This is a nice feature too, because you can, you can pick it up and carry it around with this, like just like that. Um, I really like it a lot so far. It's worked out very great. And uh, yeah, let me know if you got any questions. I'll be happy to help you with it. All right. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Bye.